I'm reporting from Juan Dolio Beach, located in the Dominican Republic. The bluest ocean I've ever seen in my life. Out here visiting family, we're gonna do some exploration, food exploration. We're just gonna get into something fun, you know what I'm saying? So, DR, we here. Now let's get into the video. Peace. everyone's having a great phenomenal day and I hope you're hungry because today we're here in DR um, we're gonna hit up a uh, restaurant here one of the more popular ones El Mason Spanish restaurant see what they have to offer let's get it going let's try some of the bread out hopefully it's not stale doesn't feel stale must be some sort of mayo sauce it's like a garlic mayo All right, so this is uh, my wife's pick here El Mason Big table, big table, big menu here. It has like that, that beachfront elegance here. The beach is literally across the street. So after this, we're gonna go to the beach, but we're gonna eat first. And they have an extensive menu of just seafood, steak, lamb chops, pork, and drinks. <laughs> of course, my son with the fries. Good. All right. Okay. So the grilled octopus came out, and with the octopus, there's a sauce that comes with it. Seafood bisque, maybe? All right, let's try this out. The grilled octopus, super fresh. Nice charness to it. Let's see what they're talking about. The review said the octopus was amazing. All right. Is this the off-menu one? What's this right here? Is this a potato or something? It looks like it. It's super soft. Am I supposed to dip this in here like that? Steaming. All right, let's try this out. I've never actually had grilled octopus with a, a cream sauce. Oh my gosh, look at this. We're gonna need another one. Fly, the fly one right in there. Let's try this out here. Come on. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. That grilled octopus had character to it. It was so tender in the middle. And that grilledness has like that, that caramelization, like charness to it. I, that is delicious. Mm -hmm. It has that flavor, like texture yeah. to it, yeah. No, the seasoning, like the flavors of it. That's what I mean. It's delicious. Like texture, seasoning. This is this nice and tender. You, I'm looking at, for, I'm covering everything else. You have one thing here. So tell me, how am I supposed to just stop two flies from beefing with each other to fly in our soup? These flies flew in this soup, and she said I had one job to protect the soup. How am I supposed to protect the flies flying in the soup? Fantastic octopus. I honestly thought because I eat calamari a lot, I thought there was gonna be more chewiness to it. But in this here, it's so tender. It is so tender. So there go the two flies right there. Flew, flew into the soup. Trying to get freaky. They was trying to get freaky in my soup. So my wife's saying this is a potato. I don't know if this is a potato. It doesn't quite, we gotta ask them what, what, what type of potato this is. Because potatoes on the inside is normally, it's like, just kind of like built like an orange where they have like certain pockets. You see this? That looks amazing. That looks amazing. <laughs> yep, 
I'm on a diet. That is a lie. <laughs> what is this? Avocado salad? Yeah. That's an avocado salad. Kind of look like a fish. Fish fillet. I ain't never seen an avocado shape like that before. That looks crazy. Look how flaky that is. Here I go to sirloin steak with some veggies. Oh, I like how they grilled it. Let it rest so the juices can flow, get it more juicier. Let's cut into this. What do you, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think, YouTube? What do you think, Facebook? How'd that look? Is that approved? Y'all approve that? Oh, this is butter. More butter. Sure, why not? I'm, I'm here for it, baby. Right. Looks good. Looks really good. Let's go. Mm. Mm. Salt, some cracked pepper, peppercorn. Make it medium rare. Nice sweetness, char flavor. Overall fantastic first bite. <laughs> and in fact, you get some tostones with your tasty steak and some avocado. Overall win. Overall winner. I definitely, this, this is a good choice by my wife, man. She chose this spot. Good job, good job. Mm. I don't even know what this is. Let me try this out. Okay. That's a garlic oil. A beautiful dipping garlic oil for a steak. Absolutely. It's the only way to eat a steak medium rare. I mean, I ain't want to do it on the island. But look at that. Beautiful. Juan Dolio Beach. Really nice, so you have San Pedro de Macariz, probably 15 minutes away. That's mad local, but um, this spot right here, well worth it. Crazy thing is places like this, I get full off of like the appetizers in the bread bowl or the bread uh, basket, and I could barely finish the uh, entree. My wife said, am I ready to try the snapper? I've been had the snapper. We can try some fish though. Let's go enjoy some sun. We'll be on the beach. See you in the next episode. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting full. Oh my God, look how chunky this is. Chunky. Chunky and flaky. Mm. <clears throat> there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This place. I'd say uh, throughout this whole trip, this place is definitely one of our favorite. Um, Definitely a comfortable, warm setting here. Great customer service, everything's familiar. The menu is in Spanish and in English, and our server took care of us. You know, he explained everything here, and the food came out wonderful, fresh, and tasty.
Let's go enjoy some sun. We'll be on the beach. See you in the next episode. Bye.